all right guys welcome back <coughs> to get another tutorial on the batch processing in the batch processing we are going to look at uh, the next unit which is nothing but the accept expression okay the accept expression will be available in the batch step not on the batch job as such okay so this is accept accept expression and this is one of the first one that we had seen poc01 so here i'm going to change it to all okay and, <clears throat> and here i'm going to change it let me minimize this and uh, yeah that's it so it's array of one okay it's array of 10 to 15 let me change it 10 to 15 okay and then uh, this is a variable that's all right um i'm gonna delete this variable or else let me keep this variable as it is this is setting a variable called as before bad job and this is nothing but vars dot bad job plus payload there's not much of a difference so i'm just making as 10 to 15 and here i'm going to say accept expression which is see it's like let me tell you one thing if i say payload load greater than 10 okay greater than 10 and say um payload greater than 10 that's it this is my accept expression payload greater than uh, i'll say instead of 1 to 15 i'll say 10 to 15 i'll say 1 to 15 and here i'm going to say payload greater than 10 let us see how it behaves okay i'm going to debug it and the listener would be 0 1 okay ready debug okay cool let's see how it behaves getting deployed <clears throat> okay got deployed so let's make a call and it, this would be zero one so hit it you got it so what does the moment once you uh, upload it uh, sorry go to the next step it's one to fifteen so one two three four five till fifteen now see this now you are setting the variable bad job as hundred not much of a difference and you are logging the payload okay but if i enter here okay this is you remember this would be an asynchronous call that would done the job and then now it's entering here now you can see the payload that has picked up is 11 why it did not pick up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 because in the accept expression i had given payload greater than 10 that is what an accept expression does if I click on this, you can see it here. It says that accept expression. Okay, there's nothing much here. So let me let us go to the internet and see what it says. Okay, we are loading it, and this is the URL. So, hmm, okay, use the accept expression attribute to process only records that evaluate to true, which means I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so i said accept that is payload which is greater than 10 okay is 1 greater than 10 no false is 2 greater than 10, 10 false 3 greater than 10 false 4 greater than 10 false so finally 10 greater than 10 false 11 greater than 10 true this is true this is true this is true and this is true so that is what it says if the record value evaluates to false if the record value evaluates to false the batch step skips the record and sends to the next one in other words the records with accept expression that results to false are the one that's mule filters out okay cool now here payload is greater than 10 okay now it will it will perform its activity 11 plus uh, 11 plus before batch job it should be 100 and 111 there you go 111 because it's adding 100 right you remember so it's picked up 12 you can see then it's pick, see this curves are 13 then it, it's picked up 14 and 15 okay cool that's done now what if i add another batch step and see how it behaves that's something we have to look at it okay another batch step mm. to do that Let's click on the core add another step here and i'm going to rename it as batch step 01 
and batch step 0 2 and I'll accept everything and can guys what, someone asked a question last time can I add a logger somewhere like this see here the moment once you drag and drop a logger inside a batch or any component inside the batch it will automatically be a part of batch step don't forget that see here I have let me drag and drop a transform message here the moment once I drag and drop here see this it will automatically convert to batch step just remember that okay now I'm, I'm going to tweak a little bit on the um, logging part because this is uh, we need to have a better uh, um, uh, formatting okay inside uh, let me pause the video and format the logger and resume back thank you all right guys so i've done a bit of formatting as you can see here i've added two batch steps <coughs> batch step one and batch step two um there you go step one and step two okay then if here a logger i said before transformation i said inside batch step one with a new line and then I have added this payload. Uh, you remember this will get 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. This is nothing but the payload plus plus the batch 100, 100, 100 like that. Right. So this is how you are going to get it. Now with that being said, uh, where is 100 coming from? 100 is coming from here. Okay. So change the value and then once that's done, uh, it will go to batch step 2 you have seen the stepping queue uh, getting in getting out right then it goes to batch step 2 and here batch step 2 formatting of the logger and then I just did payload by 3 so 100 plus 11 that is 111 and it will do divided by 3 that's it then 100 plus 12 divided by 3 that's what it's going to do and then we're going to print a logger okay we're going to print a logger so here logger okay but here i have not kept any accept expression in the uh, payload in the batch step 2 okay uh, let us see how it works first let's make a call okay so let's clear the logs and then uh, it will complete its asynchronous processing then it will start our this new line okay so first line okay um so it's uh, it will change the value for some reason this one is not printing slash new line not sure what happened it's printing slash n um just give me a moment i don't know why we, we saw in the other logger it went perfectly fine right not sure what has happened here it was it's the same thing this this worked fine this actually worked fine whereas here not sure oh my bad see see this my bad like this okay this slash i'm sorry guys i'm really sorry it's uh completely my mistake i should have given like this okay let me stop it and rephrase it even at the beginning of it it's uh, i had given the wrong one now i understand it instead of a backward slash it should have been a forward slash uh, my bad okay let me change it again you can fast forward the video while this is in progress okay thank you okay done with batch step one and right now in batch step two i'm just wondering why why the slash in was not working it's just a forward and a backward slash issue okay cool so then you have this after transformation logger okay and then let us deploy it okay it's almost done guys cool so it's a good learning see here and they don't need to skip anything it's all a good learning uh, now we know that where is the mistake okay so what did we understand after batch step one bs01 the output would be 111 then you have 112 113 114 and 115 that's what it's going to go to batch step 02 b02 b okay b is 02 okay let's clear it out okay uh, ready hit it okay uh, so it's entered so that's fine it completed the asynchronous processing let's clear the logs and then 
it's here 11 it will multiply uh, it will uh, it will uh, add and it becomes 111 that's cool 12 112 13 113 14 114 15 115 okay now it went to batch step 2 in the batch step 2 it's going to do something like 111 divided by 3 see it's going to pick up which log just check this logs now it's here here it's going to pick up guys it picked up one guys it picked up one see then it's picked up two three four five six seven eight nine ten nine then it picked up ten eleven see then it picked up hundred and eleven see it then picked up 111 see then 112 113 114 115 116 guys did you understand this use case what has happened cool right did you understand it see here we had set the payload here we had set the payload from 1 to 15 1 to 15 correct and then we set it here we set it here only take which is payload greater than 10 so here it processed 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15, correct? Then it went, the, all these values went inside here. Then it performed the transformation. So it became 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, correct? Then this value was passed over here. Along with that, it also passed along with that it also passed this payload from 1 to until 10 so 1 to 10 and along with this 111 112 13 14 15 right hope you understood it now i'm going to say what i'm going to do here i'm going to um, accept I'll, I'll, I'll put another expression here i'll say payload uh, should be greater than or equal to 1 and payload should be less than or equal to 10 if i if i do this which means 111 this will never be accepted only you will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that's it that's it because you have added this payload if payload is greater than or equal to 1 and payload is greater than and and less than or equal to 10 let us see if this works okay hit it okay so the synchronous process is done now it will enter into the first batch step so 11 i is on the logger 12 console i is on the console sorry 13 14 and 15 yeah done now i'm going to go to the batch step 2 In the batch step 2 if you can see it will pick up 1 as correct 2 2 3 4 5 okay it has picked up five correct six seven eight okay nine nine ten that's it see done awesome right it did not pick up 111 now that's how the batch step batch expression works while you're doing the uh, the accept expression works while you're working on the batch step now with that being said <coughs> now let's move on to the next topic in the next video which is nothing but the aggregator and once that's done we are almost at the final verge of ending the batch job as a whole okay so cool guys uh, see you guys in the next video thank you